Uh, hearing aids have become much smaller and, and much more compact over the years. Um, and it used to be that there was a misconception that if you had what we refer to as a behind-the-ear hearing aid, this is the largest type of hearing aid that's currently available, and it comes with two parts. There's the, the hearing device, or the case, that houses all of the, the functional parts of the hearing aid, and then there's what we call the ear mold that goes into the ear. Um, and usually people are quite intimidated when they first see this because it does look quite large. Um, but about four years ago, um, something called an open behind-the-ear hearing aid first became available. And this is a much smaller device with a much smaller ear mold. And I'm currently wearing one right now. And, it, and you probably didn't notice until I pointed it out. But there's the hearing aid. And then there's a very thin tube that goes into the ear. And it's, it's virtually unnoticeable. Um, you know, I've had clients say that uh, they went home with the hearing aid and their spouse didn't notice for a couple of days. One of the more common concerns that people express is that um, they're worried about wearing a behind-the-ear hearing aid if they have glasses, and they're concerned that the two won't fit behind the ear. Um, and as you can see, I'm wearing a behind-the-ear hearing aid right now with glasses quite comfortably. Uh, the newer hearing aids are much thinner and very light and, and can be comfortably worn with most glasses.